Welcome to another edition of the Touchdown RV Podcast. I'm your host, Keith, the RV guy. Today we have some special guests. Uh, we can't convince them to get on camera, but we're happy anyway that they agreed to uh, come on. Stephanie and Ryan, are you there? Yes, we are. Yes. Hey, Keith, how are you? Doing good. Thank you guys for taking time out of your day. No problem. Cool. Yep. So I don't know if I can say this out loud, but sometimes you have some favorite customers. <laughs> they rent it. They rent it from us. I went back and looked either four or five times. Uh, if something breaks on the road, they fix it for us. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so we appreciate we appreciate uh, good customers. We appreciate you guys' support. So, oh, thank you, Keith. Yep. Well, cool. So, um, uh, this podcast. Some of our listeners are really uh, first timers and people who are on the uh, kind of you know on the fence about should they rent, shouldn't they rent. So, now had you guys done RVing before? You had rented from me before? Did you grow up RVing or anything? No, we did not. Um, mm-hmm. Actually, we we stayed in an RV with Ryan's grandparents a couple of times, but we had mm-hmm. never before we rented with you. Um, and we looked back, okay. and the first rental with you was in 2015. So it's been- Wow, yeah, I missed a couple. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man, yeah, Keith, that's I, cool. I grew up camping and stuff and my grandparents had RVs and small pop-up campers, but no, the, your rental was probably our first RV. So. Gotcha, 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 cool, cool. Yep. So I always say that that customers, of course, you know, customers use um, the RVs for vacations mostly. But you guys have a unique situation. Can you tell the viewers like, how you guys use the RV? Sure. Yeah. Our kids have been big involved in 4-H and we spend time at the fairgrounds through the, the entire 4-H event at the fair. And right. being the summer and really hot and needing a place to spend the night after late events or getting out of the heat or cooking meals while we're there. We needed some place to stay. And we just gotcha. tossed around the idea of renting an RV and Stephanie started looking and we found your place. And we've, we've always been big nice. of small businesses anyway. So gotcha. that's why we, we initially looked at you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. We definitely appreciate it. So, so at, at the, uh, at the fairground, do you guys have hookups and everything as well? Yeah, we, we, we have electric hookups and over the years they've improved it. I think last year they put in a water hookup. The, okay. They still do not have, uh, you know, a, a, a sewer, but they, they do have uh, a water hookup and they've upgraded the system. I think they now have 30 and 50 amp electrical hookups now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. So if I, my memory uh, serves me correctly, if you, you've pulled units, I know you got that big diesel, <laughs> you pull <laughs> units and you've driven them. So kind of for a first timer, do you have a preference on one versus the other? You know, wow. there's, there's pluses and minuses to both. I mean, we, right. we, pull, a, we pull a big uh, horse trailer, stock trailer type for our animals. So I'm, gotcha. used, to, I'm used to occasionally pulling the trailer and mm-hmm. then, there's kind of advantages to that, but at the same time, you have to have, you know, a truck that's capable. So you right. have that other vehicle. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. Now, as far as um, uh, eating food and things that do you guys plan meals or you can just kind of uh, kind of um, spontaneous on meals or do you kind of plan meals out for the RV? Uh, you know, we kind of do both, um, mm-hmm. especially with our situation being at the fair. You know, we have meal. We, you know, we have plenty of food stocked up in the the uh, RV with us um, for being mm-hmm. able to, you know, grab a sandwich or or you know throw something in the crock pot for the day, which is really nice. To you know, we're out all day and come back in and it's all ready for us. Um, so we do a little right. bit of both, but it's it's gotcha. that's definitely a huge benefit. You know, all oh, yeah. the friends know that they can come to our RV and grab a drink, <laughs> snack. Right. And so there's always, you know, always a extra guest when we come back to the <laughs> RV. <laughs> right, right. Gotcha. Now, now before you guys got the RV, now, did you like, um, I guess, did you just go back and forth to the campground to home or how did that work? We did. Um, you know, the first few years we were in 4-H, we did not have animals there. And so 
we mm-hmm. were not required to to be there every day to take care of an animal. So, you know, our situation changed once we started showing, you know, horses and pigs and and okay. goats and chickens. And so uh, <laughs> that gets to a point where you're always feeding someone and um, yeah. <laughs> taking care of an animal. And, uh, and then we have other responsibilities there at the fairgrounds as well. And so, um, you know, we're not really in it a lot through the the week that we're at the fair, but it is mm-hmm. such a godsend to be able to, you know, once we're done for the night, be able to have some place to go back and sleep and, uh, right. and eat and it's air conditioned, which is <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh yeah. Blessing. Right. Awesome. Awesome. Well, cool. So what would you tell a first timer? Um, uh, I think, again, your situation is really unique. So I, I'm starting to have people who, uh, you know, uh, do horse lessons and things like that. But, but what would you tell a first timer as far as uh, if they're on the fence about getting an RV? Any advice you would give them? Um, you know, when we first started looking, we looked all around at all the available options and there were other options but they just didn't seem to, I think, care as much as we felt like you did. And, gotcha. and for us, it's important, like I, I kind of mentioned it earlier, to support a smaller business. There just seems to be more, if you own the business, you care about the product. And that's really yeah. why, why we tried you at first. Uh, and then obviously your, your service, the quality of your product has always been top notch. So we've always appreciated that. Um, and I think as a first time motorhome or even a, a travel trailer, you don't know what you're getting into. So it's really nice to have someone that always responds and it has a good product. So that really mattered to us oh. in the beginning. And, and, you know, the, the reality is too, when you don't really know what you're getting into, you were always willing to explain or show us stuff. And, and, and that helped a lot too, Keith. Oh yeah. Yep. Good deal. And I definitely uh, appreciate you guys. So, well, awesome. Well, thank you very, very much uh, for taking time um, out of your day. Uh, just helpful information. Again, you can definitely use RVs in different ways. Uh, and this is definitely a unique situation. Uh, where you are not going vacationing, but really have it as a convenience as well. So, well, cool. Well, Stephanie and Ryan, hope to see you guys soon. And thanks for, again for taking time. Thank you so much, Keith. Yeah, Keith. And we'll have to get Stephanie on making our reservation. (laughs) All right. (laughs) All right. Take care, guys. All right. You too. All right. See you. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Another edition of the Touchdown RV podcast. So again, a lot of different unique ways uh, that you can use RV. If you're not going on vacation, definitely can use, again, this couple, use it for 4-H and showing uh, different animals. Uh, again, we appreciate them. 2015. Wow. I uh, I think I had a different reservation system then. <laughs> so I didn't catch uh, that date, but uh, definitely uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, customers, very supportive. And they, uh, word of mouth, they, people have to show, they uh, give my information to other people too. So we definitely appreciate them. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, touchonrv.com. Uh, please subscribe and like our YouTube channel. And uh, we'll be back with some more exciting episodes. Thanks for watching.